Morning, Meerkat here. As you can see, Papa's over there putting Dioji in the kennel because she don't know when to shut up. She has barked for the last two weeks continuously. So uh, I think one of the things we need for camping is a bark collar to train her not to bark. But uh, it's Saturday morning, April 1st. We are packing up. As you can see, we uh, are getting ready to, uh, we're going to go to Fountain Blue f until Monday. Because uh, Monday I have to go get the license plate for the trailer. I've never, never done that. So we can't really leave town until I get that. Uh, Eli said that he traveled to Utah without a license plate. But I'm not that brave. I would get pulled over knowing myself. So uh, what we're going to do is uh, put everything in here and go to Fountain Blue for a couple days. But it's just been a wonderful time. Uh, I don't know if you can see how beautiful it is here. Let's just do this. Try not to get the sun. But uh, we're late. We're camping on the edge of the swamp right there. I mean, I'm talking about swamp, swamp with cypress trees and everything. But it's only about maybe 20 foot wide to the other side. But that's the whole way state park, this state park is because we're in Louisiana, you know. So, uh. But I've had a, a, a very unique thing happen. Since I've been camping, I've learned uh, how to really build a fire. Steve is really impressed. But it's just that I, uh, I had watched enough videos beforehand to, uh, to, to try it. So don't tell Steve, don't tell Popsicle that I just learned how to build a fire. He thinks I'm an expert. Say good morning, Pops. Good morning. Oh, he got on his uh, orange hat. He don't want to get shot in the woods, huh? So uh, we're going to be uh, packing up. We have to be out of here for 11 o'clock. We're drinking coffee. You can see our coffee pot is still on over there. And uh, from here to Fountain Blue. And then I'll give you an update. So uh, peace out, and I'll be back in a few. <laughs> Ponchatou, Louisiana. Ain't this cool? It's like coming to Mayberry. It's really neat old buildings. Just check it out. Here at Fountain Blue Park and our neighbors here invited us to a crab and shrimp bowl. That's Keith and his wife is standing over there. That's Sherry. We just met them. They said, y'all come over and eat. So this is how God blesses everybody. Just show up. That's Louisiana for you. Look at all this. This is crazy. I just want to tell you the story of how we got invited to that crab and shrimp uh, boil. We pulled in and uh, we're setting up our little tent. And our little dog, D-O-G, let's see where she at. There she is. Was just barking like crazy as usual, and um, there was a tent already set up in our spot that you know we had reservations. They gave us the number, and we came around here, and there was a tent set up. And so when I backed up in here, I hollered, "Hello, anybody here?" So this guy, he, uh, his Keith, said, "Oh, they packed their stuff and left." So um, that's how we met him, and. And he got to asking us about, uh, you know, what we did and all. And I said, we travel around, play music, ministry. He says, well, that's easy, man. Get a couple hundred bucks. I said, we've never asked for a penny. I said, we have been blessed. People have fed us. And, you know, when we're in, we have been to senior centers playing music. And while we're playing, the seniors would get up and come around, drop a dollar or two in my, in my guitar case. And we would walk away from that. With forty, fifty dollars, never even asking for a penny, and I believe that's how uh, the word of God is made real. You know, the Bible in the Bible says, "Don't ozzle, uh, don't muzzle the ox because they're worthy." You know, uh, just like the uh, pastors of church are worthy for hire. I just really don't think a pastor of a church should have to have a job to support himself. I think the church should support him, and. Uh, us being on the road, 
we're being supported by God. I mean, we've never wanted, we've never needed, and when there was a need, God always has supplied it, and I really appreciate that. So, uh, we're here until Monday morning, so we'll have other little clips and stuff that we're going to hit on the end of this. Uh, but uh, this will be the last little bit that I'll talk. Besides that, I'm just going to add little clips of other stuff, I, I believe. Um, just so that you know, God is in control, and uh, we're just following, we're running along real hard and trying to keep up with Him.